of cheap drones on the battlefield in Ukraine and the Middle East has some local officials sounding the alarm on security here in the U.S. KETV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki investigates this new threat and talks with leaders who fear we may not be prepared. According to the FAA, there were nearly 900,000 drones registered in the U.S. as of July 2023, and that number is growing. And so is the concern that it's just a matter of time before unmanned aircraft systems are weaponized and used in either a terroristic or domestic attack here. We're really almost completely in the dark right now. We're just kind of feeling our way along, but have no real clue on how to handle this as far as accountability and how to handle it if they start being used against us. Senator Tom Brewer has seen firsthand how they've been used in the Ukrainian war. Thousand dollar drones armed with explosives producing deadly results. This has now become the wave of the future in a poor man's way of fighting a war and we're not ready for it. Currently drones are restricted from flying over areas near airports, major sporting events, large crowds and security sensitive areas. But how do you stop a drone flying illegally with bad intent? That's the million dollar question that, that there isn't a lot of answers to. In 2021, the FAA required all new drones to have remote identification built in. It's a lot like a digital license plate where it transmits some information about the drone to help locate where the drone is, maybe how high it is, uh, maybe where it took off from or where the person's operating it. Kevin Morris of the FAA says using an app, the public and local law agencies can track drones they have concerns about. The remote ID is going to help in their investigative process when it comes to either somebody calling about a drone they don't think should be flying there or a drone is operating in an area it shouldn't be operating. Owners of old drones have until mid-March to make remote ID upgrades or potentially face penalties, including up to a $37,000 fine. As for the tracking apps, KTV Investigates found a few that are available. We expect that to continue to evolve here over the late winter and early spring. It's a concern. The Lancaster County Sheriff Chief Deputy Ben Houchin says bad guys probably won't register the UAVs. And what can they legally do to ground them? If we're thinking it could be a threat, we need to be able to do something. A federal law change in 2018 allowed for government officials to shoot down privately owned drones deemed a threat, but Houchin says it does not extend to local officials. Local law enforcement at this point in time cannot do anything if the drone has not done anything. We cannot go up and use any type of equipment to destroy it. It will take events happening here in the United States to generate enough forward motion on this to actually do something. Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7. For private citizens, shooting down aircraft is a federal felony, even if it's flying over your property. There could also be criminal and civil penalties for firing a gun into the sky.